Okay, this is the first in a series of some tutorials to demonstrate the, the operation of Biblo Digi and how we aficionados of uh, Radiogram are using this tool to, uh, to simulate or, or pay tribute to uh, uh, the, the whole Radiogram sequence. So I've got FL Digi open on my screen. And the first thing we must do is we must configure our sound card. Here we are. To uh, the WAV file recording, we want to make sure that our WAV write sample rate is at 48,000 bits. And <clears throat> record both channels is not important for us. Uh, these are going to be mono recordings, which is sufficient. You can see on my screen below, I already have a recording that I captured titled uh, Guerogram, Guerogram number 1B intro. Uh, I'm re-recording this one because I, I had a typo in the text I was transmitting, and this will show how we do it. So, okay, so we make our, our, our uh, sound card configuration, save that, close that out. And now the next thing that we must do is we must make sure that we're capturing our audio. So I go under File to the Audio tab, down to Text Generate. We click that box, and it's going to ask where I want to put this. So I'm going to pick a folder that I think is appropriate uh, under my radio folder. Let's see, Recordings. Another name. Okay, save that. Now, when I transmit, it will save the recording that I am going to execute. So here's some text in a uh, text editor. I'm going to go ahead and copy this text and then paste it into this lower blue window, which is our transmit window. Okay, once I have that in, I can hit the transmit button here on the lower right-hand side. And that will start transmitting and recording. Now, it's important when you do these that at the very end, we have an escape for the uh, transmission, which is going to be Shift-6, so caret, and R. That returns us to receive mode. Okay, so that's important because otherwise, FL Digi will get stuck in a loop and make all sorts of disagreeable noises. Uh, so, okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and record. We will hear the beeps. Here on the lower panel is our waterfall. And you can see it's actually <laughs> reacting to my voice. I just whistled. You can see the whistling there. Uh, it will react to the beeps. So when I record, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. So we only record the transmission. So here we go. Okay, that should be it. You will have heard that we escaped the recording uh, back to receive mode. And if I look in my folder, here is the file I captured. I can go ahead and open this with Audacity, which is my tool of choice for this. And we can go ahead and hit play, and we should uh, start capturing this in the waterfall and decoding. So let's see if that happens. And you can see in the upper uh, panel in yellow, there's our decode. So this actually happens smoothly. We've heard a few stutters in the recording that don't seem to be uh, captured. I think it's hard. We really should have a stick. And it escaped. And I know it says begin transmission uh, because in my workflow, my plan is to have a series of recordings that I will then compose 
together in, in Audacity. Okay, so that's the end of this first uh, part of the tutorial. There will be another one coming, another, a series of, of tutorials. I think the next thing I will present is how to capture and encode an image.